welcome back to another vlog. This is actually like a continuation of my last vlog. So if you haven't seen that, you can go check it out. But last time I drank not one, not two, not three, but four Thai teas in the span of like two days. Actually, it was like a day and a half. But anyway, uh, I love Thai tea and I'm going to keep drinking Thai tea in this vlog. But without further ado, let's just get into the vlog. <laughs> I woke up at 7 in the morning uh, and then I fell back asleep. But now it's like 11.30, I've showered. Oh, I might need to do a little, little bit of makeup. Um, and we're gonna go get some Thai food for lunch. Good. There were more lychees. I just ate them immediately. It's so good. It's lychee, surround, uh, pineapple stuffed lychee. So now that we're done with lunch, we're gonna go see the elephants in the wild elephant valley. Um, but first I'm gonna see if I can find a hat because I think my scalp is gonna start burning soon. It already looks a little red, so I don't want that. I totally forgot to record me buying my hat. As you'll see later, I did get a hat and then we immediately got a taxi to go to the wild elephant valley. One of the first things I saw after walking in was an area where you could buy a basket of food to feed to some of the elephants. Now these elephants are not the wild elephants, they do have wild elephants here, but these elephants are rescue elephants. My hands are slimy now. And then we saw this, not performance, it was like an elephant behavior show and basically th they showed all sorts of things like how they drink water which is basically they suck water in through their trunk and then they like spray it into their mouth they don't drink through their trunk they just use that as a way to pick up the water And then they explain some behavior that elephants have, like different ways that they eat, how they can look in logs for food, and also show how their elephants get checked up by a veterinarian. As I was saying, these elephants here are rescue elephants. So either they actually suffered some accident or they entered a city. And once an elephant has gone through a city, it's hard for them to go back to the wild because they realize it's easier to rely on humans. So they have no choice but to take the elephant into their care so they don't keep going back into human civilization. They also had a few other cool things that we saw, such as this butterfly garden.
They also had some random animals just hanging out, like these lizards over there. I don't even know what kind of lizards these are. And they also had this orchid area where you could see all these orchids and a few other different types of flowers. for how to get to the cable car. I think I've run a cable car addiction because literally every city we've been to, we've ridden cable cars. And because I'm wearing flip flops, we're gonna ride the cable car up. Yeah. Found it. It's only one way, so we're gonna have to walk back down. Still no elephant sightings. We saw the elephants. Even though they said when we got off, they were like, you need to go now if you want to go down. Someone just came over and was like, last call. So I guess we can like still- Really now. Yeah, no, really, you have to go now. After we got back to the night market area where we were staying, I suddenly remembered this Nepalese restaurant that I had been to with my friends back in 2019, the last time I was here. And lo and behold, it was still around. Today was our last day in Sichuan and it started off good with a fantastic filling breakfast offered by our hotel. We made our way over to what was once the imperial garden of the Dai Kingdom over a thousand years ago.
While we were walking around, I spotted this shop that was selling a lot of handmade items. I'm somebody with a stationary addiction and dye people are actually known for their paper making. So you know that I had to get something here. That's what you've been craving. Yes. I'm so full, it hurts. But I really wanted to finish this mango steak rice. I still couldn't. Um, but now we're going back to a clothing store I looked at this morning when we were waiting for a taxi and maybe try some clothes on. I was able to buy a dress just before we had to leave to go to the airport. But yet, the last thing I wanted to do in Sichuan Bana was drink another Thai tea. Luckily, I found one in the waiting area just before we boarded our plane and I got to drink one as our plane took off. And with that, my travels with my dad around China end here and from now on i'll be posting more daily life normal videos <laughs> so you can subscribe if you if you like the video and stick around for more of that bye bye